My name is Timothy Trespass. I'm a human being who's found himself targeted with Morgellons, microwave, remote neural monitoring, poison covered in bugs, uh, made very sick. And I'm dying because of this treatment. I get these uh, hot flashes in my whole body. You know, all right, when you're about to vomit, when you're nauseous and you're about to vomit, does your body get all hot and sweaty and then you start throwing up and then you sweat for a few more moments and after a few minutes then you start freezing cold because all the, the sweat on you is evaporating now and so you're shivering and shaking uncontrollably. This feeling that I get, these hot flashes, are it's very similar to the beginning stages of vomiting, which leads me to believe that it's, you know, what could it be? Well, it could be your endocrine system going bad. Uh, it could be your nerves, your brain, your neurons, and your stomach. Um, enteric nervous system it could be a, a large number of things <clears throat> but to me it feels like death um, sometimes I mistake it for withdrawal because it feels so horrible not just are you sweating but you, you become completely uncomfortable discomforted uh, excuse me uh, like a, a, a histamine reaction almost Sometimes you get all itchy, I get all itchy. But mostly it feels like, like I'm in withdrawal or I'm dying. And it passes sometimes after five or 10 minutes. It feels like if it's not an internal sickness, which I'm pretty sure it is, but what do I know? It may well be, uh, you know, microwave-based, um, active denial systems testing or whatnot you know who knows man I don't have any technology to monitor and determine what if any signals intelligence is being used on us so I have to just assume and considering all the crap that's been put into my body by these people uh, I have black stuff coming out of my skin uh, you know, micro, I haven't been able to look it under the microscope with it yet because my life is such a nightmare. But um, whenever I wash and I take my watch off and I wash it and I bang it around and all this black crap comes out of the wristband and I keep doing it for like 10 minutes washing it and scrubbing it with a soap and a brush and still black stuff coming out, coming out. I put it on my wrist, do it again the next day, same thing, black stuff coming out, coming out, come, keeps coming out, black stuff. And a lot of times when I wipe myself with a tissue or something, I'll get a lot of black stuff. Oh, it's just dirt. No, it's not just dirt, brother. You take a shower, you scrub yourself, you get all the dead skin off. It ain't just dirt, I'm sorry. When we were living in the hotel in Midtown and we were under hardcore attack by some special team they brought in, um, who said, ah, we knocked the shit out of them, but they took it. Um, there was a, a constant mist or fog or cloud being blown into our room through the cracks in the walls and the floor and the ceiling where they moved the walls to make the cracks and it would fill the room you could barely see it but you could see it you could tell it was there it was too fine to pick up really on any camera but it was clear and then you start wiping everything and you pick up all this black stuff now if any of you have ever played with uh what the heck is it? Graphite to lubricate a lock or something. It's a black powder and it's very slippery. 
I'm not exactly sure why it's so slippery. It has to do with the molecular bonding and cohesion, adhesion, surface. Uh, uh, anyway. Pedro likes crab like this. I just found it on the street. It's brass. But it's cute. She likes to hang shit like this here in the house. Anyway, when you took a metro card, which is one of these subway cards made of plastic, smaller, lighter than a, than a, a credit card, and slide it across the desk in the hotel back then, it would slide all the way across. Shoo! like ice skaters on ice. And Pedro would be wiping and cleaning and cleaning and wiping. Sorry about the cup of coffee. Gotta unzip my coat. Ah. Yes, temperature regulation is very difficult for my body these days. Making me very uncomfortable. Anyway, the landlord, the, the owner of the place, the one who gave us uh, 14 months free rather than be able to have to testify in open court uh, 20 something thousand dollars or whatever um, said to me, I told him oh everything is so dirty, Pedro's cleaning and cleaning and cleaning he said it's just an illusion it's not really dirt and that was all I got out of him but it's quite clear they were spraying some kind of graphite or graphene or some kind of crap and we're breathing it in. It's all in our bodies and, you know, uh, I don't know. It seems like the same material that's used with some kind of uh, energy field, literally addressable, each particle or group of particles perhaps, and you can use it to remotely manipulate things, knock things over bang things around. I've seen cups of coffee spill for no reason. Uh, other weird stuff. Anyway, I know I've digressed greatly uh, because the reason I made this video in the beginning was I wanted to mention or comment on why whenever I look around this place, like this morning for instance, oh, I'm so hot that uh, these people with their, their art and there's skulls everywhere. Everybody's drawing skulls, wearing skulls on their clothes and bones and pasting them on the wall. And I'm like, yes, I'm really excited about the day when I become a pile of bones loose by the sun after all the flesh in my body is loose by maggots. I can't wait for that moment. That's why I'm wearing this t-shirt that makes me look like a skeleton. Hooray! I don't understand these people, man. Are they all just subliminally influenced by the death programming that they feed us all so we'll be so afraid? And run, 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 quick, 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 go, go, go. Life is so short. Oh, no, no, no. Or, uh, are they perps? Putting this art in my, you know, so I'll see it. Because frequently it's put in places where I'll definitely see it. Of course, I'm hyper observant and I see a lot of stuff. So. I don't know what to think anymore, man. I see so many people wearing crap. Are they part of some club? Are they working for the dark side? Or are they just lost souls who have a bad fat taste? I don't know. I mean, uh, there'll be plenty of time to be bones when you're dead. At that point, you won't care about your body so much because you won't need it anymore. You'll be dead. And uh, why anybody would want to worship that state, I don't know. Unless somehow they figured out that this is... Uh... Anyway, let's not go there. Thanks for watching. I know I babble a lot. Let's see if this video gets posted. God bless you all.